welcome back to my channel so today we're filming a little get ready with me because you know i like them i feel like they're nice to just like break up the channel just have a little chat catch up kind of thing while i'm just doing my makeup because something that i was going to be doing anyway because i'm going to have some cocktails tonight so yeah just thought i'd go through doing my makeup with you i've really not changed it up much apart from a bit of blusher and stuff the eyeshadow is a teeny bit different it's really not that exciting but hey ho also actually forgot to mention my nails haven't got the stick on ones at the moment but i did little lemons oh that's really not focusing i don't know if you can see them very well but I did little lemons, thought they were cute. But yeah, so if you do enjoy the video, obviously don't forget to give it a like and please do subscribe if you're new because it really helps me out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll get into the video. I'm very, very excited. Gonna make some porn star martinis tonight. I love porn star martinis. Like, I'm not being funny, but if you ask a girl what is her favourite cocktail, nine times out of ten she's gonna say a porn star. It's just, it's just, it's just juice. Like, cocktails are actually so dangerous. Like, when we actually can go out again, when you can go, oh, when you can go for cocktails, like bottomless brunch. Oh my god, a bottomless brunch. We were gonna do this thing in Leeds, actually. Just before we left, it was so sad, like, it got cancelled, like, literally just before we left. For one of our housemates' birthdays, and I can't remember what it was called. Tanika? The botanist? The botanist. Yeah, the botanist. It was, like, a bottomless dinner. So, like, rather than brunch, it was dinner. It was, like, three different tapas dishes you could get, and then endless porn stars, Prosecco, Peroni, and... What was the other one? It was something with a P that I would have had as well. Pink gin and tonic. I think it was pink gin and lemon... Oh, pink gin and lemon... Something like that. Not, like, the best drinks you could get and then it was like calamari nachos like chicken wings just like crispy chicken maybe like cajun chicken or something honestly a bit gutted that we couldn't <laughs> sorry that's it that we could not go to that but you know these things get cancelled it's all right we get over it sorry let me actually start my makeup <laughs> i never know whether to like talk through makeup or not i don't really know basically i'm just going to conceal all of the dark patches those big bags under my eyes my spot areas because you know that's not we don't want them on the show maybe you know under here a little highlight i've seen people doing it with their lips and i don't really know should we just give it a go i don't really know what it does but i don't really have that big lips anyway so i thought like that's gonna it's just gonna make them look even smaller then i go in with, this is see i do it with a stick liner first then because that's a bit dry i go in with a liquid i've just said liner <laughs> i'm gonna stick concealer first and then i go in with a liquid to like make sure it actually sticks to my face and like blends onto my face i really need to learn how to use like primer and like all of those shenanigans but that can be done at a later date <laughs> anyway so what do i want to talk to you about i think basically it's quarantine so obviously i'm just gonna have to talk to you about netflix series because <laughs> that's all we can do right now realistically if i said selling sunsets finished and oh, i cannot wait for season three like i feel so bad for Chrishell, if you don't watch this, it's gonna mean absolutely nothing to you. But Chrishell split from her husband, and I don't wanna know why. I wanna find out on this series. You never really talked about him on the series, but anyway, yeah, don't wanna go into that if you don't watch that. Season three is coming out at some point, but to fill that void, I've been watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and oh my god, it's so good. Like, it's just it's easy to put on in the background as well because you don't really need to remember the storyline because they always do flashbacks. Because literally, all they do is gossip and just like talk about each other and say things about each other behind each other's back <laughs> they're just always talking about things that have like happened the night before and like at events that they've been at you, you can just kind of put it on in the background or you can watch it intently i mean i'm kind of watching it intently <laughs> you do you Me and my friends literally all love it the way they live is insane like it's just their houses literally look like national trust places lisa her house is decorated so much nicer whereas like the other people kind of decorate it like buckingham palace and it's really weird just gives me very much national trust vibe you know if that's their vibe that's their vibe yeah so like lisa's friend mohammed has just thrown this massive party for her daughter it's like beyond words it's just the stuff that you dream of <laughs> he did like an arabian nights theme and there was like a camel which i don't know i feel like that's probably cruel <laughs> you probably couldn't do that anymore belly dancers and snakes and this girl was pretending to be a mermaid in the pool and she actually looked like she was just completely out of her mind like she was being so weird just pretending to be this mermaid i don't know if she was <laughs> quite with it not gonna lie but definitely recommend watching some of them are so childish as well for their like big age of like 40 and they're just getting into all these petty arguments of like he shed he shed he said she said how are you doing this but you have like four kids <laughs> 
they hid this girl's crutches because they didn't like her. Right, bronzer. I started Queer Eye because there's a whole new series on there. So watching one of them a day. We've got to pace ourselves. <laughs> I love it. I was one with a girl who was an environmentalist. You could just tell she didn't want their help, but she didn't like appreciate it as much as the other people have. And because she's she's taking a gap year to do like environmentalist stuff, so she's just living in this house for only a year. So like they did up the communal room, but she's not she's only gonna have that for the next however many months of her life that she's living there. <laughs> Jonathan I think it's Jonathan that does the hair. I don't know, I'm very new to this. Jonathan did her hair and it was so awkward. She like put it up into a ponytail like straight away after he did it. She seemed really I don't know, like he just worked so hard to like do all these curls and like put her hair in such an amazing hairstyle and she just put it up and made it look like not good and then in the next scenes you see him like styling it again for her and Tan being like yes this looks amazing like basically telling her like don't take it out and don't put it up when someone's just like spent hours doing it for you and then all of her clothes obviously like she wouldn't have wanted him to be buying them from like pretty little thing on like fast fashion websites so he bought them all from charity shops and they just I don't know <laughs> just I don't think it was a great one not gonna lie but the other ones have been so good okay so we're going on to my eyebrows and I never really talk about like how I do my makeup and like my eyebrows and stuff someone commented about how I did them in my last video so basically all I really do is just I've obviously already done them a bit today I just outline them with I just don't know what this is I think it's Ilia and it's really on its last legs but I just don't want to order a new one kind of like follow my natural shape obviously right now it's kind of already outlined but when I put the bronzer over the top it does alter it a bit and make it go a bit less like defined so yeah i kind of just do the basic outline with a pencil but i know my eyebrows are very dark <laughs> i just think because my hair's really dark i know they're quite they're like a bit too dark for some people but just how i do them it's how i prefer to do them i then just go in with <laughs> This is literally, this is like run out. I don't know why I still use it, but I've never found the same one. It's just like a brown eyeshadow. Just kind of like go in the middle, just a tiny bit further than where the hair is. And then I go in with a darker one from Ilya. It's just this, just looks like this basically. Go in with the darker like middle shade and it has like the little eyebrow fill in brush and just put that sort of at the sides where I want it darker and then just kind of keep adjusting until I get <laughs> the right darkness and the right shape. Sometimes I bring it down a bit and then blend it out with that eyeshadow that I used a second ago. And that is it really. There's not much to it, if I'm honest. I think I'm just quite lucky I have a natural shape. They're just not dark naturally, like they're very sparse naturally, but the shape is like all right. I'm not gonna lie, they probably need a pluck. <laughs> I just can't be bothered in lockdown, like no one's seeing me, so. I don't really care. <laughs> Personally. Now, eyeshadow wise, I don't know what to go in for. I've got like a whole new set of brushes, which is quite exciting. I don't really know how you use any of them, but you know, we're just gonna play around a bit. It's just so pretty. No, I might just go in with like a, the really, the, can you even see that? The gold. Use a brush. Oh, that's new, because it's just exciting. Oh, I feel like this is quite big though. Is that not really big? It's taking up my whole lid if I use that. Oh, <laughs> that is very gold. Yeah, so, anyways. Oh my god, Love Island Australia starts again on Monday. I think this is gonna go up Sunday. So tomorrow, I don't know if it's an old one or if it's a new one, but they're airing Love Island Australia on ITV2. I haven't watched any of them anyway, so it will fill that void that we have of not having Love Island, which I think is great. Very, very happy about that situation. I might go in with this more like rose goldy one. Everyone's been obsessed with that like fox eye makeup recently, haven't they? I haven't really given that a go. I don't think it's <laughs> really don't think it's worth me giving anything a go that's not pretty simple. I don't know if that's really done anything to my eyes at all, but <laughs> we can say it's done something. This is my favourite part of the makeup, whacking on some lashes. Right, and of course, as I always do, I'm using <laughs> There's a lash stuck from the bottom of the pack in case one of them breaks. I'm using my 109 volume lashes. Literally, I love them so much. Just can't go wrong with these. Like, I think they're quite big, actually, to be fair. Say so if you're not used to wearing big lashes, if you think you don't suit big lashes, then <laughs> these are not the ones for you. I feel like they would suit everyone. They're just so gorgeous. They're just so full. I mean, you'll see the one in a second. Oh my god, celebrity goggle box. That was funny. Okay, sorry, my camera got too hot, so I just did my lashes off camera. Let me just get in there with the underneath the eye. 
lineup. Yeah, we were talking about celebrity Google bots. Oh my god, I love that. Also, I was very intrigued. So they were kind of sitting like quite far apart. And I looked up like who KSI lives with, and it said like, sorry, this might trigger people. I know eyes trigger people. Yeah, so I looked up who KSI lives with, and it said that he didn't live with the guy that he was doing it with, and they were sitting like really far apart. So I'm thinking like, did they really need to film that? I don't really know. Like if they actually don't live together, surely lockdown doesn't really need that. I'm not really sure, but just my opinion personally. Probably the celebrities probably don't need the money from google mox but hey ho i am also so gutted like it was so sunny before and now it's june the month of my birth which i get, I get so excited for and it's not even sunny <laughs> like it's literally cloudy i was literally starting to get a tan you know when you're on a holiday and you get that sort of like breakthrough day where you can get like you get more defined tan lines and you're really starting to be like you know what i'm not a pale ghost anymore <laughs> i was getting to that stage that sort of holiday like third day holiday stage of like a bit of tan going off caught a bit colour and some just gets taken away and personally I think it's a bit rude the tan starts to accelerate once it's reached that point so yeah we're gonna be going back to square one when it's sunny again which is kind of sad I guess it's worst things to be worrying about right now we'll get over it what is like really really tragic is me and the gals were meant to be in Lisbon right now living it up going to get some cocktails in the like 24 degree weather and our little summer dresses and like denim skirts exploring the streets and just having like nice dinners but it's fine it's fine <laughs> we're not gonna think about it i think like the more you think about what could have been the more it upsets you if you kind of just like forget about it and just think about like the present and just kind of block it from your mind then it doesn't feel as bad sort of <laughs> still gutted but not as bad as it could be apparently they're opening pub gardens from the 22nd of june and i don't know i just don't know about any of these rules that they're putting out really i just don't know if it's gonna be safe i don't know how they're gonna do it like how will they know who lives with who like it's in like uni towns and stuff obviously you're gonna have houses of up to like 10 11 which is like insane not gonna like you you're not men a social distance from them because you live together. So I don't really know how they're going to enforce that and like waiting in the queue and stuff. I don't really know how they're going to make that work. But yeah, I think there's just going to be another massive spike personally, but we'll just have to hope and pray that there isn't. Okay, so the next part, I've actually got this recently. I got it for my, I was like my best friends control my life of the day. And um, if you haven't watched that, you really should go give that a watch. <laughs> that was a very interesting day. I'm not sure I shall be giving my friends that power over my life again. Yeah, not gonna lie. I was eating some interesting things. I was wearing some interesting makeup, doing some interesting activities. Spoiler alert if you haven't watched it. I found out I can occasionally whip out a handstand, <laughs> which is, you know, it's ni nice to know. If I ever really want to try, I might be able to another time. Oh my God, the other day, I've been saying it a lot, baking has been like a big thing in quarantine. I made this Biscoff Blondie and it's so good. I feel like it's just so sickly, but I've got a very sweet tooth, so I can hack it. I feel like some people it would be too much, but for me, oh, it's just that sort of thing is perfect. Like I just, dinner is never finished without something sweet even if it's some like healthy vegan like chocolate chip <laughs> nibbles which is what i had today even if it's that dinner's just not finished without it but then also i get it where i have something sweet and then i feel hungrier I have it like i've been having it recently where i've been not eating lunch kind of until like half two i'm thinking you know what i'm not even that hungry and like make myself like a little lunch and then boom <laughs> the floodgates are open like i just can't stop eating and i think it's because your stomach tricks it so, like i always get it where if i don't eat for too long i just don't i'm just not hungry like at festivals and stuff when you don't really have like time to eat or if you can't be bothered to like go and get food from a truck or whatever you sort of don't really get hungry i've just been having that and then i've been having my lunch and then snacking on about five million biscuits afterwards <laughs> not great but you know i did zumba this morning cheer live workout you know i'm working it off in some ways sort of i'm looking very shiny but you know, kind of vibing that. That's like the Lisbon vibe. <laughs> Pretending that I'm in Lisbon tonight. I think that's pretty much my makeup done. So let me go straighten my hair and get changed and we'll be pretty much finished. Okay, so we are changed, we are ready. But my hair isn't looking that great. Just, you know when it's like it's dried in an awkward place, in an awkward position? That's kind of the vibes I'm getting right now. But I'm wearing this gorgeous new dress from Zaffle. It's just such a cute dress. It's giving me the holiday cocktail vibe. So it's actually coming in a haul next week. So I'll give you all the details. And I got some really cute stuff. And these cute little earrings from Shein. So yeah. 
very, very excited. Have some cocktails, a little bit tipsy, mate. <laughs> yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, then obviously don't forget to put a like and please do subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you really soon in the new video. Bye.